Bradford. Hey guys, I'm Todd. I'm with Brian today. Hey. And we're here to talk about some questions about your message from Sunday. Awesome. Yeah, so you talked about the grief process, about mourning, and how that's right. something that we need to do right. in our journey with Jesus. I love just hearing your story come out. Thank you. It came out in, in uh, kind of throughout the whole entire message, and it's great to hear that. And I think it's important that, I think Pastor C says, we not only practice what we preach, we preach what we're already practicing. Well, amen too. to that. So, that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, I love seeing that. Um, and I, I loved even to see the response to your message too on Sunday. There was a whole bunch of people responding, you know, coming forward in their seats, and it was really cool to see. And I agree. So that was the maybe the question that came came forth was was uh, related to that. If somebody okay. responded to the message on Sunday, you know, they realized that they had to go deeper with Jesus. They had to experience the deepest parts, have their deepest parts of their soul connect with the deepest parts of who Jesus is. Um, where do they go from <laughs> that moment on Sunday morning? That's, that's a great question. Funny thing is, um, when you messaged me about doing this and posed that question, just today, actually at the brew box, I had somebody actually, we actually talked about that. Oh, awesome. So it kind of got me rehearsed for what to say <laughs> right. today. But, um, and then I actually started thinking about this, um, you know, where do you go? And obviously part of that, if he's going to get to the deepest parts of you, We've got to let him examine the deepest parts mm. of you, right? Mm -hmm. And so, actually, when I when that first clicked yesterday, uh, last evening, is Psalm 139 came where um, it says, "Search me and know me, mm -hmm. right, and see if there be any anxious way in me." And so, I thought, how many times do we actually let God search us or ask Him to search us? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that word, and I actually just looked that word up today, that word search is actually uh, an intimate uh, examination. Hmm. Um, so then, you, you know, when you think of examination, of course, you think of a doctor, you know, examining you. And then basically you'd be going and said, I want everything checked out. Yeah. You know, top to bottom, yeah. heart, lungs, physical, everything. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but I thought to myself, how many times do we as Christians actually stop and say, God, I want you to examine my life, mm -hmm. you know? I want you to get to the deepest parts. And it says it's an intimate uh, examination. So that's like the deepest parts of us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about yourself, but I've come, and I wish I, I probably should do it more. But I wish I would, uh, there are days when I just, something hits me in the wrong way, a conversation, somebody does something. Mm -hmm. And then I'll stop and think, why is that affecting me the way it is? Yeah. Why am I upset about that? Why am I angry about that? And then I'll actually stop and talk to God about that and say, why, why am I upset about that? That should not have made me angry, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Kind of the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back type yeah, of thing. Yeah. And so, but what if we do that on a daily basis? Mm. Like we start the day by going, okay, God, uh, or at the end of the day, whatever, probably at the end of the day would be better <laughs> yeah. after we go through all day. Sure, yeah. And say, God, what is it? that's within me that needs examine mm. needs and I think if we start that practice then I because it's not every day you're not going to get to the deepest you know mm -hmm. but I think if you practice that and get into that habit um, that's going to get to the like the deepest parts of you if we allow him and then you know people at least I've had people say well God knows my heart mm -hmm. it's like we can just we'll let it go God knows he can deal with that yeah yeah but it's like, um, and I'm sure you've had this with, you, with your boys, is if they're going through something, you know something's bothering them, but they don't tell you what's bothering yeah, them, right? How do you help them? Yeah. You know, um, and, it's, and that makes that relationship with them even more intimate and deeper when they choose to come to you and say, hey, Dad, hey, mm -hmm. Mom, yeah. this is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the issue that I have. And so that's kind of with God. You know, he's kind of waiting for us to say, hey, whether it's an issue with God, whether, mm -hmm. you know, David had plenty of things he cried out to God about. Um, there's issues with other people he cried out to God about. Yeah. Um, and so when you finally get to that point of saying, you know, examine me, Lord God, I want. And then when you do know what's going on and say, just bear it to him and say, God, this, how do we deal with this? Mm -hmm. You know, where do we go? Um, it just, it, you know, you know me, I'm a story guy, is when my son was a senior in high school, my oldest one, and he did something that was just really it wasn't against me it wasn't against his mom um, but he knew it was against God and he'd been wearing it for a while and you can tell when something's going on but you guys gotta let them 
do that thing. And mm -hmm. one night he came to me in tears just crying and told me what it was and asked for forgiveness. And that just took our relationship to the next level. Yeah. And that's, that's God. Mm -hmm. You know, when we're willing to say, this is the deepest part of me that hurts, that is wounded, um, that has sinned against you, whatever that thing is, you know, um, and bear it before him. Uh, that's when that relationship takes a whole new level, mm -hmm. you know. And um, it's not easy, especially for us that are um, over a lifetime or even a period of time hidden things, mm -hmm. you know, not on purpose. Mm -hmm. But we take that. That was a hurt, an offense to me. And um, either we are people that don't like to uh, confront things mm -hmm. um, or we just choose, like, I can... I can struggle through this. I'm going to, I'm a yeah, strong enough or something like that. I'm strong yeah. enough. Not that mm. you mentally think that, but you just, just you do it. Yeah. It happens and you say, okay, I'm yeah. good. That's in the past. Mm. And then it comes back to hit you later, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. but I think it starts with just getting honest before him and saying, okay, God, I need you to search me. But an honest search and, and then not saying, uh, okay, God, I, I, we're not good. It's just say, okay, then, you know, the neat thing is about the Holy Spirit is, um, it said he leads us into all truth. Mm -hmm. So whatever he's bringing to you is truth, mm -hmm. you know, and then just to go there with him because the neat thing is he's full of grace and mercy and mm -hmm. compassion. So even if it's something, a sin, he's not going to condemn you. You're just going to deal with it in love, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's the number one thing, I think, is mm -hmm. the next step from there. For those that many, and I'll speak especially to guys, um, not too good at that, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, we may ask God to search us, but then we're like, eh, you know, I'm not. <laughs> we're not going to get into the feeling part yeah. of it, you know yeah. what I mean? And you have but to. But it's important. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. 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 I mean, I love in your message you actually mentioned and underlined, underscored in bold that we need to involve God in this process. And it, I think right. even David, he mentioned, search me, oh God, he's inviting God. Yeah, it's like, yeah. There, you know, we in the world, even like in non-Christian circles, there's a level of self-examination, like self-help oh, books yeah, are all, yeah. all a big thing. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. And perhaps there's a certain amount of good that can come from that, but I right. think that the really to, to go deep, you know, exactly. we have to involve God into it, uh -huh. the creator of us. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. But that is, you see, today in today's society, self-help books are a dime a dozen, yeah. you know, but many of them, you don't involve God in the process. And mm. I, I've had conversations with people, you know, I just need to... I need to um, forget about this and move on. Mm -hmm. But the but funny thing is, many people, if they don't do that, they go right back to where they were. Yeah. Um, they may last for a while, but then something will bring back that memory. Mm -hmm. Something will bring back. But that's very, very true. Um, and the person I was talking to this morning, it was like, you know, we can grieve. Mm. Um, and we can even mourn things. But if we're just grieving on our own, a lot of times that grief turns into resentment. That grief turns into... Uh, self-condemnation you know mm -hmm. I did something wrong so I grieve it like oh I shouldn't but then we just start condemning ourselves and or self-pity or whatever that is and it never gets resolved um, on our own but I agree he he made us you know <laughs> um, so why not allow him he kind of knows who we are a little yeah. bit yeah <laughs> I mean and I think you mentioned about how guys typically struggle with you know, yes. diving into this so I wanted to talk about maybe a myth of, oh, sure. of about guys dealing with feelings okay. <laughs> and I like just that. See, process it with you. <laughs> like uh, there's a phrase, I think it's around, it's probably whenever you're in like small town country, which we are, you know. We definitely are. It's like pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Oh yeah. Which I don't know if I even understand the expression because how can you, if you're straddling, anyway. If you're down, how do you pick yourself up? Yeah. <laughs> So, Good point. But, but we do that even as maybe as guys. I can speak to it because I'm a guy, and you know that mm -hmm. that's like okay. I gotta gotta suck it up. I gotta just do mm -hmm. this. I gotta get up. You know, after falling down or whatever. But mm -hmm. there's really what you were talking about on Sunday is really that's not a good thing to do. It's really about going back to God. Uh, it, right. Very true. Um, I know. I I can be even as much as I am one that I'm learning this process is something happens. Um, to you, something that def you feel defeated, you feel wounded, whatever it is, you got your first instinct says, "Okay, I'm good. I'm up. I'm going to do better the next time." Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, and I think as men, um, you're right. I think it's been taught. It's mm -hmm. just been, um, you know, and I can I can speak to that as my dad. You know, that's the way he. 
um, he, I think he always just felt like he had to, on his own, try to do better, mm -hmm. you know? And I mm -hmm. think that, that there's a lot too today on uh, men's mental health, mm -hmm. right? Dealing with men's mm -hmm. mental health. And um, all kinds of how to help yourself, how to, and, but uh, the best mental health we can get is Jesus, mm -hmm. you know? The best yeah. mental health we can get is, is, rather than trying to pick myself up, is to say, I'm gonna fall on you, mm -hmm. you know? And allow him to, um, you know, it says his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Um, and when we do that, we realize that, you know, uh, it may not happen immediately. Um, you know, in the morning process isn't a, uh, you know, that's what well, is um, morning lasts for a night, but his joy comes in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes we think that's an actual day or an actual <laughs> night, you know, and I tell people, no, that morning, sometimes if it's a big hurt, that morning may take a long time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and in those deep hurts, you know, that's where when as a man, well, I'm going to just pick myself up, mm -hmm. dust myself off, start over again. Um, and then, but if it's a deep hurt, then that wound is really, it's just pushed down and pushed down and pushed down. And I think, um, as we were talking one time uh, in staff, what Steph said was, and I, I think this is a big part, I don't think I mentioned it Sunday, uh, but healing in community, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. especially in men. Mm -hmm. um, uh, women are better at congregating and meeting and you know, we're going to share, you know. Men, not so much, but um, now different size, like in our church, I see men that do, men that, do that. But um, when you get together and Jesus is in the midst, there is healing in community. Yeah. Um, where I can share my stuff with you and I know you're going to love me. Mm -hmm. I know that there's not going to be condemnation and you can pray with me and... Um, the best part of that is iron sharpens iron. I know mm -hmm. that two weeks from now, I may get a phone call and say, hey, how you doing with that? Mm -hmm. You know, are you okay? You know? Yeah. So I think there is a big part, and I don't think I mentioned that Sunday, a big part of healing in community. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, that's that's crazy. I never thought of that. And I'm sure there's a theory to that. I, now I'll probably have to look it up. We'll uh, Picking up by the bootstraps thing. There's a dad joke there or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. And, figure, <laughs> and look that one up and figure out, what, you know, because I had to come from somewhere. You know, yeah. it was a military thing too, bootstraps. Maybe. I don't know. But... Um, but yeah, that's, it is a myth that's, like I said, I've, um, and I'm sure that with my dad, cause the guy that never mm -hmm. shared his emotions, never mm -hmm. showed, I'm sure that was probably part of his upbringing, you mm -hmm. know, and that's just what he always thought I'm going to, yeah. but man, does that wear on a, yeah. a per, just not a man, but also a woman when you try to do it yourself, mm -hmm. you just, you, you just become overburdened and weary. Was that uh, scripture, don't become weary in doing good? Mm -hmm. I think that's how you become weary in doing good, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm doing it on my own, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how people, I think, also ministry burn out, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm going to pick myself up. I'm going to get through this rather than just really um, that cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you yeah. thing, you know? So, yeah. but yeah, that's that's a yeah, and I'll probably have to look that whole little thing up. We'll I'm, sure I'm sure there's a background to it somewhere. Yeah, we'll yeah. look it up then. <laughs> well, I mean, you mentioned about healing and community. You know, yes. Steph mentioned in our, our staff meeting, and mm -hmm. I love, this is really, really good timing because we have a men's breakfast tomorrow morning, I understand. It's yes, coming we up. we do, yes. And there's, we meet, most of the time it's twice a month Yes. Uh, as, as a group of men. So there's yeah. that for sure. There's life groups at our church. I'm just throwing right. out some ideas for exactly, ways to get yeah. involved. And yep. there's... Any, any of the men in our church. Um, we have a pretty awesome community here. Agreed. Uh, we can just agreed. You can make your yeah. own group, you know. So. Right, start one. Right? Yeah. yeah. I agree. Right. I agree. Yeah, well, that's awesome. And I yeah. think, I, I love that you, you called out men, too, because I think that there's so much more potential we have yeah. as men cool. if we were to dive deep, right? you know, into what God has for us, Amen. too. I think of the other metaphor, which is just the, the deep waters of an ocean carry more. Yeah, there's right? so much more to discover even so right yeah anyway well, that's good i like Exciting. that word too yeah, yeah right absolutely yeah and it is it's a um i don't know i just there's something special about when uh men decide to go deep because i think it enhances mm -hmm. every other relationship they have does, you know yeah. it makes your your marriage better your friendships better your relationship with your kids better and your if you're young it makes your relationship with your parents or whatever that just so much deeper mm -hmm. yeah i agree with that 100 percent. yeah so i don't know how many men watch this podcast but we'll have to uh if if your we'll your husband it. is not <laughs> not watching this <laughs> yes. you know recommend it to the wives if you're if you're watching this absolutely and recommend it to your husband or pass it on to a man yes. um 
And I, I would love, Brian, if you could just pray. Would you uh, pray for the men that are watching oh this or even just processing that's, this stuff? That is so cool because yeah. I was actually going to suggest we do that. At awesome. The end, so Let's that's do good. it. Yeah. Right. Lord, we thank you um, that you are a gracious, compassionate God. And I thank you that there is no condemnation in you. And so, God, I, I pray that as, especially as men, Lord God, we would just... Um, I just rip our hearts open before you. And I pray that, but you're not going to come in and just do that on your own because you want us to come to you. That is, um, you, you beg, not beg us, but you plead with us to come to you because you love us, simply because you love us. And so I pray that our, our daily walk would include um, us coming to you and just say, search me and know me. Um, there's a lot you, just, you do so deeply because, Lord God, there is something special that comes when you search us. It's not about finding all the bad things and, um, you know, condemning us and rebuking us. It's about knowing us and then showing us your love and your grace. That's the beauty of this whole thing. Um, we don't have to come for you, to you in repentance for you to offer grace. You already offer it. Yeah. And so, God, I just thank you that that's what you want. And I pray that, Lord God, just not here in this church, not just in our community, but men all over the place would just decide to get honest with you. And Lord God, just come before you and say, search me and know me. And we thank you that you are faithful and true. Um, uh, and you, you won't let us down. You can't. You just don't know how. Hmm. And so, Lord God, I thank you that you will meet every man, every woman, whoever that is, praying that prayer. You'll meet them right where they're at. And Lord God, there will be nothing but grace and mercy poured out from you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, yeah, thank you for mentioning women, too. We're not excluding yeah. women. We're just oh, saying... This isn't a men's only podcast. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but thank you. That is, that's really, really powerful. Everybody yeah. healed. Everybody going oh. to meet with Jesus. Amen. Is the, Amen. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's a good place well, to wrap was, it up. This was fun. It was fun. Thank like you for coming chance. today. And My first one. Yeah, yeah first one. We're both it. wearing vests. We didn't I plan know, this, but I know. it's vest weather yes. today here if in Pennsylvania. Are, if you are here, you're going to want a vest, yes. Yeah, we have some friends from Africa, from Liberia, watching oh. us on occasion, so they yeah, they don't know about vests a yeah. whole lot, but we're wearing vests here in Pennsylvania. It's yeah. pretty chilly today. So. Very much. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for going deep with Jesus and yeah. uh, for continuing to stay engaged in what he's doing uh, in the community, in our church and in the world today. So thank you and God bless you. Until next time, take care. See ya.